Hello Gemini. This is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do a reading for you this evening to cover energies for the last bit of February moving into March 2020. This is a general reading. It cannot, it will not resonate with everyone. If this isn't your story, please feel free to check your other sun, your other sun, moon, and Venus signs. Cross watchers, please remember to reverse the energies. If you are interested in a private reading, I do, they are available. Please find me on Facebook at Mystic Kitten. That's my page. You can send me a message. I'm pretty quick to respond and we can discuss how that would look for you. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that I'm able to get these messages out to those who need to hear them. That would be greatly appreciated. And I think that's it for my intro. So Gemini, this is the third time I'm trying to record this message for you guys. Typically I pull the cards on during the reading on camera so that you can see that they were not pre-planned, that they come out of the deck organically. I don't pull them. I allow the deck to kind of spit them out. Um, but this message I feel very strongly needs to be out there. I feel very strongly that somebody needs to hear this. Somebody's. So I'm going to try attempt number three right now to get this message out to you. It's going to move quickly as, again, this is the third time that I've done this reading, so I know exactly um, kind of the flow and the path of it. So I have the cards that I pulled for the spread, the clarification cards over here, your oracle, and your native spirit card. So let's just get this, get right into it. So first we have Injustice and Fulfillment. The Injustice card has a Libra energy. It speaks to any type of um, justice system. I believe the energy that I'm getting is that there is some sort of contractual thing that you're dealing with, whether that be with an emotional relationship or if you're dealing with the possibility of buying a house. I, I'm getting a strong feeling that there's a few people who are buying houses and you're kind of stuck in that legal aspect of that. And then I also believe that the mass that needs to hear this message is, is somebody who's trying to open their own business and there is a legal aspect to it that you need to deal with. Don't worry, that is going to sort itself out. It's just gonna take a little bit of time because you have fulfillment. And so that tells me that this is something that needs to happen. It, it's kind of shitty right now, but it'll be okay. You're going to, this is going to, this too shall pass, so to speak. You will get your answers for that, I'm sure, coming up quite swiftly. For your current energies, you have the breath of life and decision. The breath of life to me is talking about, like, destiny following your true path finding which which way you're supposed to go. You're coming to a fork in the road. Gemini, you need to make a decision. I don't believe that there's a right or wrong decision. I just feel like you have to make the decision. You are going to have to be the one to make it. Your future energy is struggle and joy. So... I feel like this is a I feel like this kind of relates to your current energy meaning that making this decision is going to take time. You're struggling with making this decision now and you'll be struggling with this decision in a little bit here. It, this isn't something you're going to make in haste. This isn't something that you're going to fly by the seat of your pants. This is a major decision which leads me into the joy card which is how I know that there's really no right or wrong answer. You just have to pick which one you want to do. Are you going left or are you going right? So I wanted to clarify the decision to see if I could get a better idea of what kind of decision that this was so I could give you some insight. So the first card I pulled is the bear 
which to me speaks to hibernation, collecting, um, stockpiling. In this situation, I'm I'm getting a strong sense that 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 hibernation mode is about standing back, taking things kind of slower, and preparing yourself to make the decision. The bear is about preparation. Uh, instruction, seek counsel, Gemini. Go to the people that have been through this. If this decision is about a legal matter, find a good lawyer and seek your counsel. Be well educated. If this decision is about whether or not to open a company, find somebody in the field and ask them what their struggles were. Ask them what they would have liked to have known going forward. Ask them the questions. Be informed. Know, know the answers. The next card was Moon on the Water. Moon on the Water talks about being still, being reflective, not allowing the past mistakes to hinder your future decisions, but also don't forget those past mistakes, indiscretions, wins, triumphs. Don't forget those. Be reflective of them because we all have lessons that we pick up and learn and that's how we create the wisdom that we take forward. Don't let those moments in time where you either triumphed or you failed don't let them not be remembered it's an important part of your decision making then you have the hawk the hawk is a predator but the hawk is also quiet and patient and he sits and he watches his prey and he learns the movements and when timing is just right he strikes. And your final clarification card is the archer. The archer is confident. The archer knows when he pulls back his bow, he takes his aim and he releases the arrow. It will hit the mark. So then I pulled you an oracle card. The card you got was the shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurities, and manipulation. I feel like if you acquire the right knowledge, you will be able to manipulate the situation so that you can make the right decision. Now, I don't mean manipulation in a malice way where you're intending to hurt anybody else. Because manipulation can mean a lot of different things. There is a good side and a bad side to everything. And I think that if you collect the correct knowledge and you have the right, um, you're getting the right counsel, you will be able to make an informed decision, thus manipulating a situation so that it benefits you. Whether that means you choose to yay or nay, the situation falls upon what your choice is entirely. However, knowledge is power. The two spirit cards you got was Grandmother Earth and Flowing River. Flowing River knows that there is something bigger at play. All water leads to the ocean, as they say. So it's also grounding. It's also wisdom. It's also taking all aspects into play. Oh, Grandmother Earth. That's, oh. Well, I just spoke to both of them, really. I matched them together. I am sorry. I've done this reading too many times. So Flowing River understands that you're working towards something bigger. Don't allow the bumps along the way to prevent you from finding that bigger outcome, the joy. Grandmother Earth is grounding. She's instinctive. She's sure of herself. She knows exactly what she needs, and she figures out the best way to get there. The, le the root of least resistance. So, Gemini, I strongly suggest that you embody that hawk 
and then find your archer. Make your mark, pull back your string, and release your arrow. Be confident, be sure. I hope you have a wonderful February leading into March. I will talk to you very soon. Blessed be.